Mr. Adams, did La Brim have any particular position or rank in the gang? Yes. What was that position? He is the godfather. How long was La Brim the godfather? Ever since Bloodhound Brim started. Were there other? What was the godfather? It's the highest rank you could go in the chain of command. This summer, new rapper CJ took over the country with his song Whoopty. CJ claims that Whoopty is just something that he said when greeting his friends, but it turns out that there's much more meaning behind that word. The word Whoopty is a symbol for the Blood Street Gang, and misusing the word has led to CJ being called out and accused of being a false claimer. One of the people that called him out is a street legend that not too many people know about. That legend's name is L.A. Brim, and this is his story. But before we get into this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. In major cities across the U.S., street life and gangbanging are second nature. This is none more prevalent than in the Big Apple of New York City. In New York City, various blood and crip factions rule the streets, and L.A. Brim's gang was no different. L.A. Brim is known for being the founder and leader of the Bloodhound Brims. The Bloodhound Brims were a criminal enterprise that operated generally in the greater New York area from 2005 to 2016. The gang greeted each other by flashing gang signs and yelling out whoopty. The Bloodhound Brims are a faction of the Blood Street Gang, which operates nationwide and is under the New York Blood Brim Army. The Bloodhound Brims operated within and around various locations in New York, including New York City, Westchester County, Elmira, and in Pennsylvania, as well as within and outside federal and state prisons. The Bloodhound Brims used a hierarchical structure that was organized in part by geography, including New York City, and that was maintained in part through the payment of dues. The founder and leader of the gang was L.A. Brim, and other members and associates of the Bloodhound Brims referred to L.A. Brim as the Godfather. The gang was divided into several pedigrees, each of which had its own leadership and structure, which were all approved by L.A. Brim. Other leadership positions included, among others, treasurers who collected dues from members of a particular pedigree, and individuals who performed security and disciplinary functions for the pedigree. In addition to L.A. Brim, other members known as Light and Don P all held leadership positions within the gang at different times. Members of the Bloodhound Brims had regular meetings, sometimes called powwows or 9-11s, at which members were required to pay dues. Some of the meetings were among members of a particular pedigree, and other meetings were for all members of the enterprise. Word of the meetings was dissented via text message, word of mouth, and flyers. The Bloodhound Brim's business, including rivalries with other gangs, shootings, the arrest of gang members, guns, and drugs, were, regula were regularly discussed at these meetings. Kitty dues, which was money that paid for commissionary funds, lawyers, guns, and drugs, and that served as tribute to L.A. Brim, were all collected at these meetings. The Bloodhound Brims maintained its own rules and constitution that new members were required to learn. Members of the Bloodhound Brims also used code words and secret phrases to communicate with each other, both while in prison and on the street, in order to avoid detection by law enforcement. One of the Bloodhound Brims' principal objectives was to sell cocaine base, commonly known as crack cocaine. And they also sold heroin, which members and associates of the Bloodhound Brim sold throughout the greater New York area and in Pennsylvania. Members and associates of the Bloodhound Brims engaged in multiple acts of violence against rival street gangs. 
These acts of violence included assaults and attempted murders and were committed to protect the gang's drug territory, to retaliate against members of rival gangs who had, who had encroached on the territory controlled by the Bloodhound Brims, and to otherwise promote the standing and reputation of the gang vis-a-vis -vis rival gangs. These acts of violence also included assaults and attempted murders against members and associates of the Bloodhound Brims itself, as part of an internal power struggle within the gang. For example, on January 28, 2012, in the Bronx, New York, L.A. Brim, aided and abetted by Don P, used an AK-47 assault rifle to fire into a restaurant where rival gang members were gathered injuring two individuals who ended up surviving the shooting. The violence continued in fall of 2012 when L.A. Brim ordered the shooting of two other members of a rival gang who also survived. The four killings the police believe the Bloodhound Brims are responsible for are the October 2015 murder of Jose Feliciano outside the Key Club strip club on Boston Road. The May 2015 fatal shooting of 20-year-old Angel Caesar and the 2014 killings of Leonard Hines and Orlando Gonzalez. Currently, 37 of the Bloodhound Brims have been apprehended and sent to prison. Light and Don P were both sentenced to 20 years in prison. The founder, L.A. Brim, was sentenced to 30 years in prison and is currently serving his sentence. Let me know what you guys think of this situation in the comments, and please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.